Okay. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy here again, Dean from Burn One. And once again, we have the large cast for the Uma set review. We're finally, we're nearing the end. There's only three crafts left. We're on Abyss finally. Uh, what really is there to say other than, oh yeah, big shout outs before we begin to the Shadowverse Evolve Discord for giving us this translation sheet that we're using. It's uh, available. We get to see all of the sets ahead of time thanks to them. And I guess we'll go through the cast real quick and once again introduce everyone. We have Prusha. Hello. Okay, and we have Fresh Cabbage. Hello. He's a forest craft and uh, what you said, swordcraft? Yes. Yeah, he's a forest craft and swordcraft main, so he's going to be weighing in on these abyss craft guards uh, <laughs> with his unique perspective. <laughs> Powerful. We have uh, Kit, of course. Yep. The king. And we have Sam. Hello, hello. He's the resident Uma expert. Um, uh, and yeah, starting off with Abyss, and I think Sam was really excited about this. We wanted to tell us horse facts, but uh, I think we might have to stop him. He can say them <laughs> if he wants. <laughs> oh, no. He's this long, though. No, um, Krausensky. Uh, I guess Precious favorite card. Three that's, mana? That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, has speed, as all Uma always do, and evolve for one. So Necro Charge 10, um, giving enemy follower minus 4, minus 4 is insanely strong if you can actually get to that point. So um, I guess the, uh, the important part here is that the Evolve also gives you options if you need to play it early game in terms of giving an enemy follower minus 2, minus 2 as well. So both procs separately. So technically this card in like some magical fantasy world can actually 3 for 1 if your opponent went just that wide. Um, but yeah, generally it's a really solid like board clear option um, that is playable into the late game, which I think is the important part. You can clear up to 10 HP as long as the thing doesn't have aura. Am I crazy? And... This card's like ass, right? Um... <laughs> okay, okay, listen. Uh, you, I... <laughs> my dragon players, my dragon players. You know, Dragon <laughs> Warrior is an insano card. Dragon this is Warrior two. Is a super two is card. shit. But Even it, Flame Mage is ass. Let me finish. So, <laughs> so, you, so, you, so Dragon Warrior is amazing in the early game, and then you top deck it on like turn nine, and you're like, this thing's garbage. It becomes a four three rush, right? This thing is better than Dragon Warrior because it goes into the late game way better it kills something immediately when it gets played uh late in the late game and then in the early game in my opinion it's better than dragon war because the minus two attack is actually really strong i think i think you're trading the damage for the attack so if you have to play this into you know we're going into uma musume meta so if you have to play this into a uh one of their four fours one of the many many four fours uma plays uh, it becomes a 2-2, two, two, and you have a standing 4-4. Four, four. I think that's pretty good. Obviously, you'd rather it kill stuff, right? Um, but I think this card is really, really good, especially if, like, I think everyone agrees, Dragon Warrior is a really good card, you know? And this okay. is, in my opinion, better I, than Dragon I, So I have, I have two questions for you. Yeah. Are you saying this is good in the aspect of Uma? Yeah, in Uma. In Uma Musume. In, in Uma. Uma deck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, also in Control Abyss. I yeah, think and in it, Control Abyss is pretty Well, in Control yeah, Abyss, add, I've had Necro yeah. Charge 10 on turn 4. Yeah, exactly. What game and, are you playing? Yeah, bro, sure, you, like, you get there, but... You don't know like, about the Bone Chimera? I do love Bone Chimera. The Bone Chimera is the best card ever. I do That's true. So That is a very good card. So yeah, I mean, you can have you can have the Necro Charge Ten, but like I don't know, you want to put down Cerberus. Or I feel like in that, especially in that deck, I feel like you're putting down Kawi. You're putting down other stuff. Kawi sucks. Kawi is the most insane card because bad players get like actually shitters get stomped. Okay, let's just be honest. Sure, but like um... I don't want to say anything. Okay, generally you want your um serve to like be able to evo though, right? So like your turn four and five uh menace like turns are just free for Marzeski to go down. I think it's necessary in terms of like anti aggro for control of this. But like moving back to actual Uma. Um card, yeah. Uh I've tested it with and without it and it really depends on your meta, I think, whether or not you play this. If it's if you're up against like very big beefy bodies who don't care if well, you're um, a train controller, like, 
Well, I, I just have the question of because minus two minus two is not that good. Saying yeah, saying it, it can is. it is saying that it blunts <laughs> the damage a little bit. You know, arguing for the fact that the minus two attack can be because minus two defense, bro. You're telling me that we need four damage removal. You're telling me we need four damage removal because everything needs everything has extra health in this set. But now you're gonna tell me minus two minus two is playable? I don't believe it. Now the minus four minus four, I can believe that. But then the question is, how fast do we reach that necro charge? How fast are we activating this ability? But that's not why you're playing the card. You're playing the card because it's pretty good in the early game and staves off aggression and helps in the mirror. And then later on, it becomes insane. You're not playing it for the necro charge. Then you're playing it because it doesn't become a dead card in the late game. But 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 is this actually know, a part is, of like the topping list? That's my question. They, they played it like one one or two of, I've seen. Yeah, so, and it wasn't in all of them, it was in most, but yeah, it wasn't like a three to two, like, I'm um, sorry, three cards in the two, um, though, is what I mean by three two. It wasn't always in that ratio. I'd even argue, like, um, three one might be possible as well, if you really need the um, card for whatever meta you're playing into. I'm just thinking, because, like, yeah. when I play Control Abyss, and, like, what my hands look like right now, and mm. I'm like imagining that this card was magically in the middle and would i ever <laughs> this thing was four mana right or was it three uh no it's three mana it's and three then one mana? to evolve yeah and i think that's why it's like playable i don't even now, know is it a staple i'm not sure if it's stable i've been testing without it to be honest um in my umo list but i do think there's a world where like yeah you just throw in a couple Tough on the Evo slots, though. Yeah, I think... I, I mean, I'm... Not only is it tough on the Evo slots, I, I just don't... I This does not read good enough to me. But that's me, you know? Some people have seen success with it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, often, also, what I've seen in terms of, like, you know, watching the world stream and all that jazz is, um... It... Depending, yeah, again, on the matchup, it doesn't clear enough. Um, and then yeah, it just leaves you open to, like, not only have that card killed, but they still have something on board, which is problematic if it's being followed up by Chotka or whatever other crazy um, stuff Uma's going to throw on board. Uh, yeah, so I think definitely something worth testing. But again, like, this is... I'm not going to say it's a staple card just yet. Pretty yeah, easy to throw in. Definitely. Yeah. If you do, okay, so another thing is that there's a lot of cards um, in Abyss, Uma Abyss, that you can actually use to, like, you know, mill two cards, um, Rush Hour, or a couple of others. And um, technically, if you draw the perfect curve of those, you can hit Necro Charge 10 relatively quickly, like on turns, let's say, 6 or 7. At that point, Marzenski's actually pretty nuts. Like, yeah, being able to, like, clear anything up to 10 HP and um, split up the damage as well is extremely strong. But getting there has been the tough part. Like, I've had games where I never hit Necro Charge 10. Um, Dude, you're just, always at 9. You're always at 9 forever. <laughs> yeah. It's never and, 10. Yeah. And against Haven, it's even more painful. And then you put this down, they chain call by. So, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. uh... <laughs> oh, and, um, horse fact, uh, Marlisensky is actually a foreign... A uh, born horse that came over to um, Japan, I believe, in the 70s or 80s. And unfortunately, it was never allowed to race because they had a ban on foreign horses. So, very sad. And I forgot who um, she or he in life um, sired. So, that's something you guys can look up. Wow, horse facts. Horse facts indeed, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next <I'm sorry>. card. <laughs> <laughs> Next card, we have Rice Shower. I actually like this one's art. Uh, this is yeah. a 5 mana, 3, 5, Ward, Fanfare. Choose Enemy Follower. Deal 3 damage to it. Mill 2. Last words. Choose an Uma Follower in your graveyard with a different name than this. Add it to your hand. I'm told this is good in actual Uma? Yeah. Yeah. This card does so much. Oh my god. I mean, I guess you get to like... Res okay. Okay, Vodka. it has ward, it burns. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I'm just like thinking about it. Because I haven't played Uma. You've, you've played Uma. You felt it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess it's like... Lots of feelings. It's Well, it's recursion, right? So it's you get to like... 
So I'm guessing you yeah. have like an on turn, your opponent clears it, you have an off turn where you play this because your opponent responded to your board with like a high cost thing. Like imagining that you do like the Daiwa Vodka, your opponent Themis is, you put this down on the board. Uh, you're able to recycle the whatever piece, right? You only need to find one of the two then before you go in again. Is that like kind yeah. of the thought? Yeah, um, it has two modes, I guess, in that case. It's like if you need to play a little bit more controlly or... Um... You just need to stabilize for a turn. This card can technically do more than the Daiwa Vodka turn, right? Because it actually clears something, hopefully. It has ward and also mills, so you get like access to your other Necro Charge or 7 centimeter cards. And yeah, the important part is also recurs. So the 5 mana is a bit painful in terms of like how you're curving out, but yeah, if you're able to like um, have this card stick as well, it makes your follow-up turns extremely strong in terms of, yeah, maybe that's when you die one vodka as well. Really? Um, Isn't it the opposite? Isn't it the... You put this down and then because you... Well, because I'm imagining mm -hmm. in my head, the, this is here for the, like the recursion, like the on-off turn thing. I mean, I guess you, you said... I can't imagine like looking at a hand and thinking that this 3-5 is like the play... I guess because you yeah, make it a four six and it's got ward, it's, a, it's like almost the stats of Shenlong. Yeah, it's more for like yeah, slowing down the game for a turn, like because you clear something and now they have to deal with this as well. It has ward, and then you're um, able to pick up like a combo piece to hand and then recycle that, yeah. and then yeah, I mean like that, that's definitely kind of nice. Yeah, because like um, for instance, sometimes people will just play the um, what's her face Daiwa Scarlet just on turn four, just to you know plus hand get a spell they really need, and if that gets cleared. Um, you have a higher chance of just recurring with a rush shower in the next turn. Or, yeah, um, sometimes you just need cards back in hand so that you can follow up with an um, Ogre cap turn or something. So she's another one where, you know, they're, if they don't have to banish, you're just plusing one again. And um, it's a card advantage card, I guess, is the best way to uh, call it. The fact that it has ward, I think, just puts it a little bit ahead of other things like... Um, Dark Angel Olivia, in my opinion, is actually interacts with board immediately after coming down. Like burn, yeah. mill, and yeah, lets you salvage something. Yeah, I, I actually I actually, I like that comparison, uh, to, to Olivia. I was gonna say I see a lot of JP players like play the turn five Dawa vodka and then you know play one of their ones from hand, but then they uh with Daiwa they search for the one mana deal two. And then the next mm. turn, when they have to spend resources or whatever, uh, killing your board, the next turn yeah. you can restabilize, kill their five health thing because you do three plus, you know, two, and then yeah. you have a three five board and uh, just stuff like that. Yeah, I think it depends on the matchup. Yeah, definitely either mode works. I think. Um, yeah, you punish them for like yeah not being able to push you. Now you have the board advantage again. Um, yeah, after they clear. Uh, Die was Scarlet and all that jazz. Um, yeah, just I think it's generally a solid card that you run two of, maybe three, if you really lean hard on the control and there's like you know no Haven in your locals or whatever. Because um, yeah, Haven will host this card. They, I don't think they care about the burn three at all, and then um, you know just get Spanish. So yeah, I bad. think uh, I think this one's pretty interesting for both Abyss. Because I mean, if you're in pure, if you're like Uma. Uh, like abyss control this card's not bad even yes. there and yeah, then uh definitely and like in pure uma i can see where this thing has its spot for your like off turns just because like you, you apply pressure got to get the pressure back uh because yeah. no deck usually that does that other than like sword can go gas 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 the entire time yeah, exactly. Oh, and one last thing I guess to bring up is like with a ban list as well, um, you do lose access to two ward cards. So sometimes there are cases where like, you know, you're facing off. I say it's like bad against um, Haven, but like if there's the Aegis facing you and you really need a ward to survive, um, you know, it's either Brian or this card, I guess, is what's getting you through that turn. And yeah, sure, like deal with it, you, but um, you know, it, it is a possible out because they ditch three for the evolve or whatever on Aegis, maybe they don't always have the banish card or whatever. Yeah, that's a good call. I like that. Yeah. So yeah, it had play modes um for my playtesting. It's just yeah, it doesn't have to go down every time because yeah, the curve is awkward, but it it's a card that like um 
I guess it also lets you recur, or if you just milled a bunch of stuff from this card or other cards, um, you know, you can get your Brian or Ogre Cap or whatever, and you're not feeling sad that you milled it. Yeah, yeah. definitely a nice card indeed. Next card, though, who wants to read this one? Can I talk about it? This is my favorite card. Okay, yeah, yeah you, you read it. Uh, nice Thank Nature. Uh, three mana, three, three. Uh, feed one, of course. Uh, fanfare, choose enemy follower. It gets minus one, minus one. Last word, each enemy player discards a card from their hand. I really, really, really like this card, but I don't think uh, you should play it. Um, because I'm going to play it. No, no, but um, it's... Uh, the reason I really like it is because I've noticed that with the Econo limit, there's not a lot of really good um, proactive, like, turn three going first plays. I think this one is pretty good. You hit... Uh, you either kill something that they played early on the first two turns, or you just uh, limit the damage, and then it's a three-three. And then when they when it dies, it they discard. Obviously, yeah, if you're gonna run to Haven, this card is awful. Um, this card's probably just awful in general. <laughs> this card's probably just awful in general, but I do like the idea of it, and and I like I think in certain metas, if you like walk into your tournament and you you know every person's first and last name and you know every card in their 40 card <laughs> deck and you know none of them are playing haven and you know like none of them are playing uma either <laughs> this, this this card's pretty good but yeah i will say um it's a win more card in terms of like um sometimes they can just like snowball um an advantage into a win because yeah if yeah. they open bad and you're just having them discard even more cards They'll never have enough hands for like over recap or whatever. And yeah, the there's. Last. I've noticed playing Olivia. There are two modes that discard line of text. Either it is the most unplayable garbage, or your opponent randomly like loses their entire hand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's exactly, there's no in between. Exactly. It's either like you go how many cards in hand? And they go like three, and then they discard like a a goblin somehow, and you <laughs> yeah. go that did literally nothing. Yeah. Or they discard Trail of Light, and then you. you Plus them, uh, yeah. Or, or yeah. Or yeah. It, it, like randomly, they're on a two card hand. You don't even know how they got there, but randomly, their hand is gone, and you just like drop this thing, and then it's all gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I kind of like that. Once again, on last words, uh, usually if your opponent's at such a low hand size that a card like this would beat them, uh, they, they're just gonna play the hand first. So. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of a problem, uh, but I, I do like the idea of like a hand control list. So I, I like the idea of this more in mono abyss than I do like Uma. Yeah. There's no there's no shot minus one minus one is real, but you're yeah. right. It does help your minus two minus two become a uh, legitimate removal. <laughs> Seven mana combo. Yeah, there you Crazy. go. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Another thing is like if Uma had something where it could sack its own followers to do stuff as well. I think this and like the other um, rune card we're talking about, where last words is salvage the spell. They do. It's I called getting like... rush. <laughs> yeah, but like, it no, needs like, a sale, yeah. yeah, like um, an actual real card um, that yeah uh, could sack other horses, you know, turn them into glue or whatever. You get some advantage <laughs> and you get the last words. Um, I think that'd be pretty good. Maybe we'll get a. <laughs> Oh my, I'm going to hell. Anyway, yeah, but maybe we'll get a second Uma set and these cards could actually see um, some better advantage plays, I guess. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, a uh, very cute horse. Too bad it was uh, not that playable. I'll make it Next playable. card. This card is <laughs> insane. I have watched the things that have transpired at like the world stage with this card. Uh, so this is seven centimeters ahead. Five mana spell cannot be played unless you have 20 or more Uma cards in your graveyard. Destroy all enemy followers. This is Themis, but it doesn't stop there. Draw three cards. Ever heard of Gilnalise? Same card, basically. And then your opponent discards three <laughs> cards from their hand. Their entire hand gone in the blink of an eye. But with Agnes, we picked this back up. I watched the mirror match where the guy plays this. And then his opponent plays this, and then he picks this back up, and he plays it again. Oh my god, actual cancer. This is... Yeah. This card is... I mean, you know, they saw that, like, Haven was playable at all with, like, the Aegis stuff, and they said, no, we can't, we can't, we can't be having games go long. Yeah. Uh, 
This card is like actually insane, right? And that's not just me. This is like a one of that like you just blow the you like control becomes like almost unviable. Yeah. Okay. So um, I agree with you all the way up to the Aegis part because the problem is like Aegis goes down on like nine. And you're like maybe like the problem is they're banishing your shit too. Yeah. So like you're gonna be like ten necro or whatever, and then yeah, your this card will never go off in that matchup. But against other control matchups like a oh, do you think like, what, what, how much banish does Haven actually play? They play like well, but it's three more cards. of like a factor of like you can't get to twenty by turn nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that's the problem, especially if they banish stuff. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you get to 15 or something. Like, yeah, I remember a few t test matches I was playing against Ryan, and like, you know, there'd be like three to five banish cards because you're playing the longer game, right? You're not playing every single mill card. I guess you could, but um, I don't know. Unless you played every condition. single mill card. No, I agree with you it fully, is, yeah. and I think against yeah longer games like and um, okay, the maybe sword. It's really good against that dragon as well. Oh, go ahead. Oh, is how is this? I think against Dragon, don't games just end, like, either you kill them or they kill you before you even get to 20, right? Uh, yeah, I guess it depends, like, um, what's happening. Like, Brian can, um, generally stall out turns, too, if you're afraid of, um, spicy shit from them. And I don't think you really fear, uh, fear Bahamut or Genesis Dragon too much, because you do have hard kill spells with, um, one of the cards that's coming up soon. It just kills the enemy follower for two mana. Sick. This kills all of them for five. It's like if they have at yeah. least three followers on board, this is a plus. <laughs> it is a sick card. I think it's a really yeah. sick card in the mirror. I think it's one of those yeah. that's like, oh man, it, like like if if, if I don't if think it's good it. enough to play, but then the person that's playing it is gonna roll everyone. You know, yeah. like I, I I just think it's too slow in every matchup except the Uma mirror, and like. In the Uma. Like, so it might just be something where you have to play it if you think there's a lot of Uma. Uh, just because it's like, it's like Hair of Illusions, right? It's like, whoever has the most nukes, like, yes. you, just, you just have to have more nukes than your opponent, you know? And this is the yeah. nuke. But and even, the nice even part, in Uma no. Mirror... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we're... No, I was going to say, like, and you can always search this out with um, Dial if you ever see yeah. the games going towards there. But as you're saying, like, in the Uma mir Mirror, like, there's so many Storm cards. Yeah, you're yeah. just, like, slapping each other, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, like, for a mirror, I'd almost want to play more cards that, like, there's only a couple in, in the set, but I'd almost feel like, oh, maybe, like, healing is the edge I can get in the in the mirror, rather than, okay, here's my, like, nuke button, yeah, you just Your dragon the card, right? Your dragon 10 mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 10. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, 10, 10 damage. Shiaki Bono, come on now. I don't know. I, I think this card is good in the Uma deck as like a one of You can search it, yes. and then it's just yeah. a random win condition. Like, I'm a big yeah. fan. Like, sometimes games go long. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what you're going to get hit with. And then you just yeah. want to have this one card. I mean, what's one card of consistency? Like, are you really going to brick on it every game? Yeah. Are you yeah. going to brick on okay, it? Okay, yeah, because another thing is like in a longer game, where it actually becomes unplayable because you start running out of hand, right? So this is another way to recover hand. Um to be able to even like play the card and yeah so in the really scuffed games i think it's actually just becomes more playable and is a real um way to just like equalize the board equalize hand if um you're in a losing position and hopefully next turn you can win this next so, card is insane who wants to read it yeah fine yeah, motion fine. three drop three three feed one it begins racing right whenever it's racing this gets plus one plus one and add two to your leader's health Put the top two cards of your deck into your graveyard or cemetery, I think this is called in this game. Waiting yep. room? Are you sure? Waiting room. The uh, yard. The yard. The glue factory. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, why is this card? I, okay, listen, this I was zoning is, out for a minute. I, well, yeah, I'm so confused. I thought I was going to read something good. <laughs> I, know, I, was just like, I, didn't know how you, I didn't know how you think this card's insane or Barzetsky is not, but go off. Dude. What do you mean? Yo, it's Lilith plus Spark Toy Soldier with the same amount of stats. <laughs> He's a Sarge, bro. That is like, correct. He's a Sarge. Yes, yes, Sarge. It's Sarge plus Lilith in one package. Yeah. Oh, who's that um, uh, Singaporean player who's really helped out the English scene again? You guys had him on your podcast. Ugh, I forgot his name. Shinto? Um, yeah, Shinto. Yeah, he actually, I think he put this into his list. Yeah. Blog post that he put out. Yeah, personally, I actually tested with this card a little bit. Um... 
the problem <laughs> it's a little bit it's not enough healing yeah and yeah. it doesn't do enough like just um board i guess is the problem i found um i, I don't know like, you just yes. weren't racing it enough true wait no i race it every time um but yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were just playing it as a vanilla three three that did nothing. You know? Yeah, you I mean, idiot. Idiot. yeah. What was I thinking? I, I didn't see the rest of this text. I was just playing because she was like drawing this ramen bowl, and I was really hungry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Exactly, exactly. Oh man, look. <laughs> if it had war, I think it'd be sick. But anyway. if it had any other like keyword, if it's like it had a keyword. It... <laughs> Like, if it said a sail, actually, if it said a sail, if every card is good if it has a sail and then nothing has it, please understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe you guys are right. This card is. I, I do. I, I will say, I think, I think if you're really sold on seven centimeters, I think that, uh, or, or like that's what you're building towards. I, read I think it's like the side grade. Mill. I read like heel and mill. That's all I read. Because I, I think I think in the version of the deck where you're scared of other board decks, I think you probably play Asian Flash and Marzenski. In the yep. my the the tournament is full of Haven. Uh, you play this and uh, Narita Top Road instead of those two three threes, and then you just like play toward the seven centimeters. I, I think that's like the read on this card is it's like the side grade Narita Top Road, but like you're not going to replace her with it in a deck that you're not playing Narita Top Road. If that makes sense. Yeah. Indeed. Although, I guess it also doesn't plus you, but yeah, I think we can move on. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Next card. Who wants to read this one? Can I read this one? Yeah, you can read Go it. For you it. got all the favorites. Uh, my other Top Gun. I do love this card, too. Uh, one man at 2-1, which is an amazing stat line. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Rush, fanfare if there are at least four other Uma Musume followers in your field. Or cards, sorry. Not followers, cards. Uh, this yeah. game storm, and then fanfare. If there are at least five Uma Musume cards in your graveyard, this gets plus two plus zero. So one mana four one. Sometimes storm, but who cares? You don't even read that part of the text. It's a bro. one mana four one. No, no, it's, yeah, bro. This has is rushed, like, natively. What are you it talking has rushed, about? Yeah. This is like a handless blood card. This card is insane. This card's insane. It's not it, it, like this card is does every single thing. Because on on turn one it's a one minute two one which is pretty good and then every other turn after that it's another removal card you know every other turn after that it's just oh here's two damage and then oh later on not even that later on you only need five in the grave later ish on one minute deal four and then whoa I'm like blowing my opponent out here's uh you know here's a one minute deal four damage to face also of course like you know. Three, you know, what you play this and you play the storm card on it and you give it storm. It's like, whoa, it's a three mana five three storm. But no, this card is really sick. I really, really, Sorry, really, really out. like this card. No, I yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, I, I I think we're all just gonna agree, right? This card is insane. Like this, yeah, uh, the, the 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 four other Uma cards will come up. Uh, even if it doesn't, like you said, it's a just a four mana into or one mana four damage in any tapped card on the board. Yeah. Very powerful. Like, this, this card's just good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any disagreement? Sam, were you going to disagree with that? Oh, he died. He's not talking. Or he's like in deep thought. <laughs> hmm, Dean said it's good. It must be bad. Is this the first card we agree okay. on? No, we've agreed on some other cards. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Some I, cards are really hard not to agree on. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Don't worry. I don't know. There's some cards, some cards that I think I thought everyone was going to agree on. Oh, but um, actually, would you play three of this card or just two? I think three. Or three, it's, you just one. always have it. Yeah, you yeah. play three, and then if you don't like it, you start cutting it from there. But, like, the text reads, like, one one mana, like, four damage removal follower. Like, that's, yeah. like, the worst case scenario usually. So, yeah, I guess you play I, this on turn one if you hate yourself, but, yeah. Yeah, and, and best case scenario also... is, yeah, they don't deal with your board. And Oh, go ahead, for sure. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just going to yeah. say, I think um, I think that uh, I've, I've played the deck a little bit. And one thing I've noticed is that uh, the early plays, now that Inspection Start is limited to one, are really... Like, that's the only thing you can play on turn one most of the time, and that's one card in your deck. So I think it is important to 
um, fill the fill the deck with other cards you can play on one. And this is probably the best. Yeah, turn and one, helps like, fill in your curve sometimes too, because yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, sometimes yeah, like turns three and four, things can get a little bit weird with your two drops, and you know this just as you said helps fill in. If this was a sword card, this might be one of the best cards in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's not. Imagine uh... that. Truth. Next card, Recital of the Rain, my own invention. I do like the art on this one, too. Um, I have no idea who any of these characters are, usually. This is the one that got the leader. Yeah. Yep. This one is a four-mana spell. Quick, when you play this card, if there are ten or more Uma Musume cards in your graveyard, subtract two from its cost. So it's a two-mana. Choose an enemy, fall, or destroy it. Two-mana execution. Why is it that every class has better cards than Rune? Rune is not allowed to have a two-mana kill spell if you have X amount of spells in your grave, but Uma gets to have it. Okay, we see. I see how it is. I see it. It has a four-mana kill spell that has three storm damage or whatever you were saying. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is. You're right. I'm sorry. F Fire Chain is... <laughs> Fire Chain is you gave Latham Storm. Yeah, it, yeah. It's like Samurai plus Execution. You mean Embrace? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, are you actually talking yeah. about fire? No, no, fire or? embrace. Yeah, yeah. fire embrace. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologies. Yeah, yeah. And with Daiwa on board, it only costs one mana, so it's like actually insane. Yeah. Uh, one mana kill spell. I mean, kill spells are good. It, quick, quick kill spells are better, and quick kill spells that can cost one are insane. That buff your board. I mean, that's all you need to know. This Listen, all like I'm going to say really quick is that, like, now that I'm learning more about what removal I have to play around, I don't, I'm not looking forward to playing against Mono Actually, Uma decks. Something, something else. <laughs> I have had uh, some locals definitely complain. We, we've complained some about this game is, like, insane with the amount of removal it has, right? Yeah. It compared to, yeah. like, Hearthstone or, like, other games, it's, like, nothing ever sticks, and it's impossible for it's her to live. It's very, like... But when a card does live, it is the most crippling thing you've ever seen. <laughs> it's yes. very 2020 digital, like, 2021, yeah. where, like, it, stuff just started to get, like, okay, boards don't matter. Not that it's not to that level yet, but it's very, like, boards are gonna die. You can't assume something. Well, boards have been dying since set one. You put down a card and, well, like, shape-shifting mage killed it. Like, like, yeah. Nothing has ever lived in this game. Yeah, it was Haven Pop. I think, like, yeah. one thing to say about that is, like, literally from set one, like, it, it was kind of a joke, but as each most, as more sets come out and the power creep keeps coming, like, in set one, we were, like, kind of joking, like, literally, if a card can't two for one, you pro it probably sucks. Because, like, everything yeah. can almost, like, two for one in this game. And it's, it's, you know, it's like you said, it's kind of getting to that point where, like, boards just, like, oh, never live. Yeah. I do wonder if they're going to ever bring in rotation into the Japanese format, and hence English eventually. Because I think it'll also freshen things up in terms of the meta, too, but we'll see. They already do rotation, not to get too deep, but just, like, every set that comes out, there's just a better deck. Like, there hasn't been a deck that survived several sets since Egg and, and JP. Oh, yeah, but I guess my point is, like, um, with the actual rotation, you don't have to, you know, um, completely, like, shutter out old sets just by making better ones. You can, yeah, like, that, you know, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the hope, or that, because, like, digital, they, they, I don't trust side games to be able to, like, actually <laughs> yeah. lower the power level. Yeah, you know? I, like, I don't want to get on this topic for too long, because it's just going to be a set review, but, like, oh, okay. literally the newer booster they released, in, or they're releasing in Japan, they've already said, like, hey, it's going to have support for older, like, uh, archetypes, awesome. right? So, like, it seems like they're not planning to do a rotation just because they keep printing more support for old archetypes. In I mean, do, they might do it eventually. Yeah. It's always a thing. I mean, yeah, there, there's a chance it could happen. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like this is the type of game where, like, I want everyone to have really broken decks because the, then the game is way more fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I think I think your opponent having a lot of removal is better than whatever digital is, where like they put down the Levi guy. And he found the the secrets of magic, and then you eat ten damage. <laughs> like yeah. I, I think I think yeah. it's a little that's bit the better. Evolution, because that's why I'm like worried about like I don't want every deck to be insane because that is what every deck no because in, in digital if I had a one mana kill spell I probably would be able to live sometimes, but I don't have a one mana kill spell. <laughs> and, but in in physical I can always have my infinite amounts of removal and say if I put more removal in my deck maybe I won't die. And you're right, copium. <laughs> There you go. But, uh, I, I do think about about the two mana uh, uh, kill spell though. It's one of the re I think it's the best like. Uh, it's insane. It's Uma like actually mirror. insane. I, I think it's like the Uma Mirror like diff card where it's like if you 
if you have more of this card, you see more of it, you're gonna win more. It's this might be this might be a little too spicy, a little too. High. It's one of the reasons I'm kind of down on Ogre in Pure Uma, just because I think if you mirror match or like if you're too sold into Ogre and you ditch your hand and then it just dies to two mana, I think that's really rough in a mirror match. But oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, you have to respect them having two mana up. So yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, from what I've seen, a lot of people, they only use the Ogre, um just to clear a board sometimes because they can't afford the ditch. That's they true, that's true. Pop. I feel yeah. like, the, is there a lot of... Like, what do you mean? That that ditch play? fuels your your seven oh, centimeters. That's, that's Holy true. Shit, dude. That is true, that's Not true. Not a real gamer. You just ditch every turn with Ogre starting. Is it, it's on four, right? <laughs> it, or is it five? Is it five? What's on four? Ogre. Hey, isn't it six? No, that's six. Oh, it's six? Six, baby. Six? Yeah. Is, is, yeah. Bro, it's Necro Charge three? Yeah, there you go. It kills itself and slaps it. <laughs> yeah. I, I do fact. think that the kill spells are huge. Um, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, your opponent goes for the Oguri cap, or, the, or your opponent taps out and use that to kill their card. It's kind of like a D shift. Um, so yeah, on to the next awesome. card. That's great. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's actually yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just look yeah, them yeah. in the eyes and say, I D shifted you. <laughs> Sick. So, on to the next card. <laughs> oh, who wants to read this one? I can. Uh, Curran Chan, Chan. Uh, she's the uh, girl in the Mayano Top Gun art. But, uh, one mana, one, one, feed one. Activate one play point and act. Choose an enemy follower, deal one damage to it, put the top card of your deck into your graveyard. I think if this no. didn't act, this card would be nuts. Bro, this is like... Uh, this card would be so nuts if it didn't act. I would love to just dump 10 cards for my deck. This is like, uh, yeah. what's his face? That's uh, Urias? No, not, not Urias. Urias. This is like Urias. This is like the same level of like turbo ass. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I was like, on the digital brain. Yeah, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, not the good one. The 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 yeah, like, sword yeah, craft, the the sword craft card one. that yeah, has zero just, attack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This card is unplayable. And, yeah. and next, they card. couldn't have at least made it a goblin. <laughs> they could have at least made it. Yeah, a goblin. two two or like they really put a lot of like I mean, guess card budget into milling, right? Because like normally I'd say this should be a burn too, but the mill I guess is. Just yeah, they kind of consider damage. that like a positive, which is like... That's insane. No, it's the one that damage. Effect. That one damage. Yeah. Did you call that three mana card insane for minus one? Minus one? Yeah. There you go. Uh, th there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, next card. This is my favorite girl. Also has the leader. Yeah, I just, I like I, She's got the eyes. You know, I got the deck box. Two mana, three, one. Twin, turbo. Has direct attack. Oh, that's a sale. A sales yeah, best yeah, yeah, the yeah. best line of text fanfare 10 or more uma cards in your graveyard gets storm insane a sale and storm so it's a kill spell yeah. or this is basically the same as demonic strike if you think about it. it's a two mana demonic strike i i really like this card as like a consideration <laughs> um in in uma and stuff because i've seen it I've seen it in like a lot of JP lists and stuff as like a one of or whatever. I bro, um, I already see it in my head, dude. I got ten cards in drop. I go twin turbo, twin turbo, twin turbo. That one, <laughs> that so one good. mana card that gets storm. It's over. They're cooked. Yeah, and, and and also like I don't think this has got that good. What I'm about to say, but the three mana three one direct attack like give it give it rush for one on the feed you know and it becomes three mana three one direct attack like that's kind of nice as a niche because i i think the reason it's probably not super playable is because the actual payoff isn't good enough uh like it's just a three one storm like that's you have plenty of storm in, in the deck already um but i do like the like niche effect of hey there's something that's just standing there and it's looking at me and i can't kill it i gotta i gotta put direct attack you know um yeah. but yeah i don't know yeah i mean the attack stat is nice if they can't deal with it and it, yeah you, you know the meme everything is a lightning bolt this card is a lightning bolt there you go yeah i mean if you think about Three the damage. uh the daiwa vodka thing that's that's five mana correct if yes. So for for sure. seven for seven, you also get okay. this, right? That's not the worst. Yeah, it makes it big. You can slap stuff. Yeah, four two. 
Yeah. And well, I guess by then you might have Storm even on it. You know, I see. I'm no stranger to waifu games, so I can I can uh, imagine putting a card in my deck solely for the art. So you know that's no. Oh, I'm uh, I'm doing that on on another card later on here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So who wants to do the next card? Uh, I guess uh, I Sakura Chiono oh, O. Uh, feed one. It's a three three for three. Uh, racing. Uh, this gets plus one plus one. You may choose up to one Uma Musume card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Uh, it's okay. So this is a I, four I, yeah. four that salvages any card. I mean, that's that's kind of cute. I don't know how good that is actually. Yeah, I've seen. I I see. This is another like top road side grade that I've seen. I yeah. I I I'm, I've never been able to like really rate this card. Or, like, I, I don't know what to think of this card. Because I think it's, like... I think it's worse than Narita Top Row. But also, the it's fact worse. that you just know what you're getting is kind of nice. Yeah, I think the bigger problem is, like, it really depends how you open, right? Like, let's say you yeah. open, like, Ag you know, Tachyon, Axis Tachyon or something sick. And you're just, like, clearing yeah. board. They kill it. And you're just like, oh, I just grab another one. Sucks to be you. But sometimes, yeah, you're just, like, drawing nothing. Or, like, open nothing and this card goes down. Because, yeah. Nothing better to do. It's very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah this one's play a game, you can play set. You can play seven CM. Drop this. Salvage it back. Do it again next turn. True. True. That is the combo. Yeah. But Agnes also does it. But I guess like Agnes eats Evo slots. And how many times can you Agnes? And this is generic. Because you're gonna be playing carrots yeah. anyway. Like ten carrots or wasting slots on actual creatures. Who cares? Yeah. Also, I just realized this grabs spells too. So yeah, as Hansen said. So yeah. like, yeah, it's that and I, amulets. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I actually thought it was only followers. So this card went up a little bit my estimation. Hmm. I I see this as like having potential and like some uh, yeah. some I don't know maybe toolbox. You know the forbidden word. Is that forbidden? <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I think it's also awkward in this game that doesn't have enough search. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 well, tutoring is broken. Like, yeah, there's a reason in MTG and other types of games like that you never tutor. Have you read Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Actually, I haven't. I'm not okay. sorry. I'm you, you, you have player. like your entire forty card. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game of combos, better. man. Of course, every card switches other cards. <laughs> well, yeah. enough about that. Is this the one you were talking about? Is this your favorite one on art, or is it no. going to be in the, another craft? Uh, my favorite card is the one after this card. But... Oh, Interesting. That is a good card. So, who wants to read this one? Seeking the Pearl. Two drop, three, two. Uh, feed, gain racing. Last word, put the top two cards of your deck into the cemetery. This is just a reprint of the, the two drop. Oh, wait, no, this is better. No, this is test three attack. Better. And it's yeah. last word, so it's different. Doesn't the other one have last word also? No. The... On, it's fanfare. Oh, it's fanfare. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. This is this is a card. It's if it, you're if you're super in the seven centimeter game plan, this card's actually really sick. But if not, alas. I guess yeah. It mills too. That's cool. Uh, and it's aggressively statted. It's uh, it's kind of awful. So next card. All right. Machikane Town Hoiser, four mana, four four, feed one, uh, racing, and then fanfare. Kill an amulet. This card is so sick. I love that they printed a just amulet killer. Just screw the amulets. I hate uh, I hate sword. I hate haven. Screw the amulets. Amulets suck. Okay. Leonidas and shambles. <laughs> Leonidas and shambles. Because you know, like, if you play sword, you you know that me. You're going to play against me, and I'm going to play this as a one-up in my deck, and you lose because I drew the one-up because I hard mulligan for it. Um, Actually, would you only play one of this versus two? I I, I was I was trying not to be too much of a hot take, but you know okay, I think okay, yeah I think okay. too I think this card's obviously really good in depending on the meta you think you're going into. Um, yeah, because the stat line is like every other um like three mana that races in to become a four four. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And um, just hard killing amulet. I think it becomes more valuable. Yeah, as you obviously know your meta um, yeah. hits 
Disco Dragon hits um, whatever crazy shit Haven's trying to do. And yeah, sword. I ironically, I think the stocks of this card went down with the Shenlong limit. Because like if, if, if I knew that there was going to be 50,000 dragons in the, in the next meta, this card is awesome. This card is sick. This card is three of. But oh, for sure. now that it's not, it's like... It's, yeah. pro it's still probably good and probably, you know, worth a slot or two, but it's only, you know, it's only really good into Dragon and, and Sword and whatever Haven is Haven. cooking up, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever Haven people got <laughs> going. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I do think it's a necessary evil because um, yeah. you can't play Execute and your, like, um, fake Execute, well, better for killing followers, doesn't touch amulets. so. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only thing there. And I'm also, just yeah, happy they printed the amulet card. like hate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Card, I mean, yeah, the set definitely needed it, I think. Yeah. And yeah, ours is great too. I don't know if you already talked about that because I kept oh, dropping yeah, off. Yeah, cool. yeah Maj kind of Townhoiser is my favorite, my favorite character. So half of my half of my text sent in various discords are gifts of her. So. <laughs> nice. There you go. <laughs> why, why isn't your Discord uh, icon her? Because Zach Greinke is the greatest uh, baseball player of all time. That's why. All right, touche. <laughs> <laughs> you can Photoshop her on the back of the shirt or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna get sleeves. I'm probably gonna get that. They have a couple <laughs> sleeves of her. I'll probably, I'll probably get one. Nice, of them. nice. Yeah. Well, that's gonna wrap this one up. This was a, <laughs> that was a pretty long one, actually. I oh, told yeah, you what I say. Oh yeah, yeah. No, there was a lot to talk about. Some of those cards milked yeah. cards, and the other ones gave <laughs> minus one, minus one. It was like actually insane what you could do with the abyss <laughs> craft cards. Uh, but yeah, anyone want to do some shout outs? I know Sam always needs to say the shout outs. Uh, yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. It's just I love calling out my locals for being awesome guys and Brian Wibbs Wiberly. Um, you know, hopefully I get. And he's dead. All right, now to yeah. my shout outs. All I right. want to shout out. Oh, yeah, you shout out. You wait, wait, okay. Out. My shout out is to Oliver. Oliver, if you hear this, let me know. I know you don't watch her stuff. I'm giving you a shout out anyway. All right, Ollie. Ollie from Chicago. You guys know who he is. All right. My Go shout ahead, out Dean. is to all of our 800 some subscribers. And uh, the additional subscribers we get after they watch this video. That's right. We do read your okay. comments, by the way. We read every one of your comments. At least I do. I don't know about Kit. I'm I read he does. all of them. I just don't respond to all of them. Don't be mean to me in the comments. Oh, oh I'm always mean to pressure in the comments because it's uh, funny. You're the worst person <laughs> ever. Shout out to Will Harris. Uh, what? Wait, did I miss the shout outs? Um... <laughs> yeah, it's over, guys. Remember, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and until we'll next time, this is. What, what, what should I say? Burn one signing out. The burn one. <laughs>